The character customizer is more than just a simple character customization menu. It's a complete player and NPC customization solution all wrapped into one solid package. You'll not only be able to set up the character customizer to allow your players to customize their personal character, as a developer you'll be able to use the character customizer to set up the customizations on all the NPCs in your game. The only thing you need in order to use the character customizer is customizable character models. For instance, models with different morph targets, hair types, clothing types, and that sort of thing. By default, the character customizer can handle up to 10 male and female races, or 20 monogender races. That means the character customizer can handle the customizations for multiple entirely different character models. Are you making a fantasy game and need to be able to customize dwarves, elves, and humans? If that's the case, then the character customizer is your solution. Even if you don't need to use more than just human male and human female, this is still the way to go. The character customizer package comes jam-packed with 20 high-quality video tutorials explaining how to get started with the character customizer from the ground up. In the tutorial videos, we will walk through the implementation of your first character race and cover everything you need to know about the character customizer system. We'll talk about setting up the character blueprints for the character customizer. We'll then go on to discuss how to implement your morph targets into the character customizer system. Then once we're ready, we'll begin setting up our first race menu. To assist with setting up the race menus in the character customizer system, we'll make use of several different slider type templates. The templates are designed in a manner that makes menu creation a breeze. The process for using the templates is as easy as connecting the dots. The slider templates not only handle the visible changes to the character, but also handle saving the changes so they can be reloaded through the Morph Actor All blueprint. Examples of different slider types include the single morph slider template, which handles a single morph from zero to one, the double morph slider template, which can handle two different morphs at the same time, the negative to positive morph slider template, which morphs the target from negative one to positive one. The morph swapping template, which can be used to swap between several different morph targets. Think nose types and eyebrow types. The morph snapping template, which can be used to swap different material perimeters or even switch different meshes such as hair and clothing models on the character. Using the templates, the possibilities of what you can do are pretty much endless. Once we have the first race menu set up, we'll go on to discuss how we can use the character customizer to apply customizations to NPC characters. You'll not only be using this system to customize the player character, but also to customize the NPCs in your game. That is the beauty of the character customizer system. And if that's not enough, the design of the character customizer is set up so your players will be able to share their character presets. If you were looking for a solution to handle the character customization in your game, well, this is it. 